Finally tonight, a new way for school kids to do their homework and perhaps a ray of hope for the parents who frequently get called upon to help. Dean Reynolds takes us inside the flipped classroom. The wave has to travel a lot farther. So At Warren Township School. High School in Gurney, Illinois, science teacher Colin Black helps kids do homework in class and sends his lectures home. Black and others who've embraced what's called the flipped classroom condense their lectures into a brief, homemade, and often lighthearted video. Visible light is actually the smallest, teeniest, tiniest part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Students can digest the information outside of class whenever they like. The next day, they get their questions answered and apply the lesson with the teacher in the room. I can talk faster in the video because I don't have to slow down for the kids that, to make sure they're catching it. And because they can pause right, it. Right, they can the pause it, they can rewind it, so I can talk faster and they can pick up that information quicker. Freshman Haley Dorsey echoed that point. We're able to like pause and like go back and like re go over stuff that we don't really understand. But the videos are nice. I actually like them. They're much easier than what we used to do last year. Jared Kosey is another freshman. It's really nice to go home, go look on the YouTube channel and you know watch the videos. Because you're moving slower, there's, Thank it's you. moving less. The question I like to ask is, what's the best use of your face-to-face -face class time? Educator John Bergman, along with partner Aaron Sams, came up with the flipped classroom concept, originally designed for football players who missed class while on the road. We have school backwards. We're sending kids home to do the hard stuff. We send them home to apply and analyze <coughs> and synthesize content, and they can't do it. Perfect. And then when they come to class now in a flipped classroom, the difficult tasks, application, analysis, and synthesis, happens with the expert, the most important person, the teacher, present. Three percent of teachers are flipping classrooms now, 18 percent have expressed interest, and 28 percent of school administrations want to do it. I can challenge the people who are doing really, really well and help the kids who really are struggling. Was the amplitude lower or was the amplitude greater, though? On the no matter what, I would say every day now I talk to every kid. One person wiggles the other. For Colin Black, the flipped classroom is right side up. The slow one. When I see a kid who's been struggling and then they understand it, that's the that's that's what does it for me. You can't be short and long at the same time, Danasia. Oh. And for a whole group of young minds. Video for Monday. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Gurney, Illinois.